Forerunner 645 has the tools to help you bring your performance up to speed. In this video, we'll show you how to start using your new GPS running watch. The first time you power on the smartwatch, you'll be prompted to select your language. Then you can complete the easy setup process. It will walk you through how to get your smartwatch up and running and even pair it with your phone. Now, let's look at your new watch. On the top left, you'll see the light key, which you'll use to activate the backlight and to access the controls menu. Hold the light key to access the controls menu, which you can use to turn on Do Not Disturb, lock your device, and access your virtual wallet to make contactless payments. Below that are the up and down keys. These help you navigate through the different menus, data screens, and widgets. For example, from the watch face, press the up or down key to cycle through preloaded widgets, including heart rate, performance, music, smart notifications, and more. On the top right is the start-stop key. In addition to starting, pausing, and stopping timed activities, use this key to make menu selections. Finally, on the bottom right is the back key. Press it to return to the previous screen, or during timed activities, press it to mark a lap. To access the menu, press and hold the up key. In the menu, you can update your preferences for the currently selected activity, such as changing data screens or setting up an alert, or access general settings for your watch. On compatible models, press and hold the down key to quickly access music controls from anywhere, including during timed activities. To go for a run, press the start key. From the run home screen, wait until GPS is ready or press the start key to enter the data screen loop. The watch will vibrate to let you know when GPS is ready. This normally takes just a few moments. Press the start key again and run. During your run, you can scroll up or down through the data screens to view important stats such as distance, time, pace, as well as your heart rate. When you're finished with your activity, press stop. From here, you can either restart the timer and continue running, or scroll down to save your activity. After you save, you'll be shown your achievements, such as personal records or a new VO2 max, a suggested recovery time, and a summary of what you just accomplished. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Forerunner 645, check out the other videos in this series.